Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello, Eva. Good morning, Eva. Hi. Hi, Eva. <laughs> Eva just woke up. Okay. Gospel for today comes from St. Matthew. Still St. Matthew. Uh, today's July 8, 2020. It's a Wednesday morning. And the gospel comes from St. Matthew chapter 10, verses 1 to 7. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are, first, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, Make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So what have we got here? We have the story of how Jesus sent his disciples uh, to preach, to preach the gospel. First, he names, uh, St. Matthew names who these, the apostles are or were, right? And then after that follows the, the narration about how Jesus gave them instructions to go out and preach about the kingdom of God. Telling everybody the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But look at the uh, instructions of Jesus here. He tells them, do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. Who is part of the house of Israel? What does our Lord mean by that? The Israelites. The Israelites. Who are the Israelites? The Jews. Huh? The chosen people. The chosen people. <laughs> the chosen people. Okay? And the, uh, the Samaritans and the other pagan territories are those that, well, are not part of the Jewish community. Okay? So our Lord, God bless you, our Lord told the apostles first, go to the chosen people first. Go to the house of Israel. Okay? Yesterday we were commenting about the, uh, the sheep without a shepherd. Right? And how our Lord uh, was, was <laughs> he keeps sneezing now. How our Lord told them also, right? Uh, you know, I pity my, the flock because they're like sheep without shepherd. So now he sends out the shepherds. But he tells them, go first into the house of Israel. Right? Uh, uh, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh you might want to think for a moment, why does our Lord give such very precise instructions? Why to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? I thought, I thought he came to save everybody, right? You might think, uh, didn't he uh, come to save the whole world from sin? So why did he prohibit his apostles from going out everywhere and limited their circulation and their preaching to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What could be the reason behind that? Uh, well, <laughs> we, we, we can, we can uh, I suppose, surmise um, that maybe, uh, you know, our Lord wanted to train his apostles first and uh, start from, uh, from a smaller sample of, uh, of, a, of the uh, population. Right? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. We can also think that maybe it's because they still don't have the Holy Spirit. Right? That, that, that our Lord promised to them 
um, uh, you know, after the resurrection. And um, the Holy Spirit was supposed to guide them in their apostolic work. Okay. And if you remember, when our Lord ascended into heaven, that was the instruction of our Lord, right? When He told them, okay, now go and make disciples of all nations. All nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay? So, there was a time for that. There was an appropriate time at which the apostles were now to go out into the world. Okay? But I have another take on this, and I think um, uh, I think here is where uh, we could also look at this gospel uh, in another light. And what is that light? What is that interpretation? Our Lord, our Lord wanted to take care first of the house. Our Lord wanted to take care first and foremost of the children. Of the house of the home because there is really where all evangelization begins in the so-called domestic church it is people closest to home it is with people and children of the household that we have to be apostles to each other and to minister to each other. You begin from the family. You begin with the family, the house of Israel. Okay? And I'd like to think that is the emphasis that our Lord wants us to understand through these instructions. That first you begin with what is closest to home. You evangelize the people right beside you, who live with you, who, who share your common uh, 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 life together in the home. Okay? And so in the light of this gospel, I'd like to encourage everybody to understand that studying our faith right here at home, living our faith right here at home by studying the catechism, which we do every day, okay? by doing our prayers and devotions, which we do every day, from the moment we wake up in the morning with the morning offering and everything else we do, the rosary, the angelus, the examinations of conscience, the prayer of divine uh, mercy chaplet and everything we do at home, this is all part of ministering to each other and, and, and learning our faith and evangelizing each other. Okay? And if we live our faith very well here at home, Papa. yes, <laughs> yes, Eva, if we live our faith very well here at home, then we can influence others outside of the home. Then we can do apostolate outside of the home. But all of that effort begins from the home. And so I'd like to speak to you, parents, who might be listening to this broadcast, right? Be the apostle to your own homes. Be the shepherd of your own flock in your own domestic church. Help your own children understand the faith by first learning it yourselves so that you have something to pass on to your children. And it can be as simple, really, really, believe me, as simple as just studying the catechism. You don't need to be theologians <laughs> uh, to, to, to impart the faith to, to your children. Begin with the catechism, the most basic uh, instructional instrument that you can use in order to help your children learn about the faith. Let us be shepherds to our own flocks at home, to our own sheep at home. That is the vocation that God has given every parent in every family. You know, the, the, the uh, nature of marriage, let's just go back to that a little bit. Let's review that. Why did you get married? It is for 
two purposes, the procreation and education of children and the mutual help of spouses. Okay? There is a reason why the phraseology of that purpose of marriage is said that way. The first is the procreation and education of children. And only secondarily, the mutual help of spouses. There is a proper order okay, uh, as to the purpose of marriage. Um, education is very much part of that. But not academic education. That's not what it really means. Although it could extend to that. The primary reason, the primary uh, uh, the purpose of that education is education in faith. Education in faith, which begins at home. Again, I, I will reiterate, let us not consign the education of our children uh, in faith to the parish school of religion. Nope. Let's not, cons let's not relegate that duty to the nannies of the church. Let's do it ourselves because we can. And it can be as simple as opening up the catechism books and start going from point one to point. I don't know how many are points are there now. But that is how it is to study the faith and educate our own family in the faith. Let us begin at home. And let's teach them to pray at home. Especially now in this pandemic situation when we can't even go to church. Well, <laughs> we can do things at home. We can do things at home. We can pray at home. You can even attend uh, uh, live stream masses at home, which these days... Most of us do. Okay? So let us learn to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And this, this freshology, lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know, this is very real today. This was not only, uh, the, the lost sheep was not only during the time of Jesus Christ. It happens today. Today, plenty of sheep are lost. Lost to the bad education they get in public schools. Lost to the bad influence of the media. Lost to the bad uh, situations they encounter around them in their environment and in their communities. There's plenty of lost sheep. And they are in your homes. So be the shepherd to your own sheep. Okay. That's it for us, folks. We'll go... Uh, Attend the live stream mass now. See, this is what we can do. This is the only thing we can do now in, a, in this pandemic situation. So let's take advantage of that situation. Okay. Bye. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye, Eva. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.